Let your tip soak for about a minute in that nice soapy water. Make sure to use plenty of soap so that you can really cut through the grease because you don't want that left on your tips. This is our grass tip and we're just going to start by going across the top like that nice and flat because our tip cleaner is too big to actually fit through the holes in this tip. And that's not actually the soap that you're seeing on the tip cleaner, that's actually the color of the frosting, it's a teal frosting. So. Once you get that done, the same process is going to be for pretty much all the tips. The thing that's different about the grass tip is that you can't fit the cleaner through like you can with the rest of these like you just saw with that one on the star tip. This is the main part of the coupler and what you want to do is you want to go over the threaded part where the outside cinches down on it because that's where the frosting is going to hang out on that piece. This is our petal tip and you're just going to really really quickly go back and forth motions on the inside of that to push any frosting that might still be on the inside out of it. And then you're going to rock it back and forth to make sure that you get the end of it nice and clean. I always check to make sure I can see light through my tips when I clean them just to make sure that there's nothing left in it. Now the tips can nestle together when you're cleaning them so just keep that in mind if you start counting your tips and you're like, I'm down one. There could be two stuck together. That's just our round tip. And this next one is our, our, excuse me, our leaf tip. And as you can see, it's a little bit of a forcing issue to get it through the end of that, but I know it will actually fit through there. So I'm not too concerned about actually forcing it through there, but when you first start doing it, just learn to, learn to be a little gentle with your tips until you're used to them. This tip I'm doing here is our flower tip, drop flower tip. And that little piece of metal is on the inside to give the center to the flower, so you want to make sure that you clean around it really good. And as you can see, I'm picking up a lot of frosting on that tip cleaner because it does like to hold onto the frosting really well. But once you get it washed really well, you'll be able to see light through it just like you do with all the others, and it will be nice and clean and ready to go for the next time you use it. Our last tip we have here is just like most of our other ones, just a quick back and forth on the inside of that basket weave tip. Brush the outside and we're done.